Tom McClintock, one of three Republicans who voted against impeaching Mayorkas. A fourth Republican voted against it on procedural grounds, and he's with us now. Uh, so, Congressman, it's good to have you on here. There are many that are watching wondering why did uh, Congressman McClintock vote no? Can you answer that for us? Well, for exactly the same reasons that I opposed the sham impeachments of, of Donald Trump. It dumbs down the standard of, of impeachments and, and it ensures that it, it will be a constant fixture in our national life whenever the White House is held by one party and the Congress by the other. It's kind of weird that, uh, you know, those same arguments when I made them in the uh, Trump uh, impeachments uh, were cheered by conservatives and, uh, and yet those very same arguments are now jeered. Look, Mayorkas is guilty of maladministration on an entirely cosmic scale. The problem is that's not grounds for impeachment. We know this because the founders specifically considered it and, and rejected it. Instead, they chose the narrow grounds of high crimes and misdemeanors. Those are actual crimes using the office. They didn't want policy and political disputes to be turned into impeachments, and that's exactly what's happening here. However, uh, sir, and thank you, by the way, for giving your explanation. Again, a lot of people wondering, how could a Republican uh, vote against this effort here? The majority, though, of your colleagues view it much different than you do. In fact, one of your colleagues, Mississippi Congressman Mike Easel, joined National Report last week. He offered up a response to members of Congress like yourself who voted against impeachment. We'll play you that sound. This man needs to be impeached. I disagree with their arguments because Americans are dying. Americans are in danger. It's obvious what's going on at the southern border. It's been created by this administration to willfully go around the Constitution and enforce the law that's on the books right now. So I must say I disagree with their argument. So, again, you heard his response to your vote. Uh, sir, did you want to offer a comment to that? Yes. Well, not enforcing the law is not the same as breaking it. That's not just my opinion. That's the opinion of the conservative majority on the Supreme Court in, in, in the recent Texas case. Enforcement, even if it's entirely inadequate or incompetent, is within the constitutional powers of the president. And I would ask him and my other colleagues, do you really think that in the fantasy world where, where uh, Mayorkas would be removed by the Senate by a two-thirds vote, replacing him with, say, Ocasio-Cortez is going to make the situation any better? This is the responsibility of the entire administration, and it can only be fixed by replacing the entire administration with one that is devoted to uh, securing our borders and defending our people uh, and upholding the rule of law. And that's not something that can be done by Congress. That can only be done by the American people at the ballot box in the next election. I just want to point out that before we go to, again, an argument that your colleagues are making, and maybe we can get your response on this, is that one of the articles of impeachment listing lying to Congress, telling Congress under oath that the border is secure, uh, essentially breaking the law there, that would be uh, seen as a crime or could be seen as a crime. Uh, do you not agree with that statement? You, you can't punish people for their opinions, even if they're foolish opinions, and that is an opinion. Uh, uh, it all depends upon how you define it. Uh, uh, so so I, I think that that is stretching the Constitution way past its breaking point. And, and again, it cheapens the, the whole process. Uh, you know, right now we're looking into actually an impeachable offense by the president himself, bribery. It w was, was the president uh, in, involved in a family influence peddling scheme? I think this uh, uh, really uh, harms the credibility of that effort uh, by using this in such a, um, uh, such a frivolous and unconstitutional manner. All right, we'll leave it right there. Congressman Tom McClintock, uh, this will come up for a vote again. Are you sticking by your guns on this, or could you be swayed? Well, well the Constitution has not changed since last week, so neither will my vote. There it is. Congressman McClintock joining us again with his thoughts on that and where he would stand uh, should the second vote come in on impeaching Mayorkas in the House. Thank you, Congressman.